So let's say all right, we start with 9 grams, uh, 10 grams of hydrogen, and 56 grams of nitrogen. If the reaction goes to completion, how much ammonia would be produced? Uh, and let's say how many grams of ammonia will be produced. I make a change, let's say 12 grams of hydrogen. Two nitrogens. Oh, yeah. In each molecule, so that should be 28, not 14 grams per mole. Okay, let's talk about this together a little bit. Um, what, 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 what's your basic strategy here? How are we going to work this out? Um, you figure out uh, the moles of um, what you're starting with. Mm -hmm. And then you can um, use the start change end table for the rest. Anything else? Um, I used the uh, find out the moles that I started with, and then I found the limiting. Yeah, that was one thing you had to mention. We have to find the limiting reagent. How are we going to find the limiting reagent? You compare how much product you get from each starting material. Okay, that's good. Now, the one thing is, we don't need to break that into two steps. 
it looked like first you guys were, uh, well, let's demonstrate that. So um, we can start with our 10 grams of hydrogen. And we want to know how many grams of ammonia we can make from that. So our target units should be grams of ammonia. You mean break it into four steps? Uh, yeah, if we're thinking of the same thing. So here we have the conversion of, we should have went from the conversion of grams and the con we could have also identified how much product fall in one fell swoop. Yeah, we're trying to get into the habit of doing things in one fell swoop. That's the way that problems are designed to be answered and they, they have, they're designed to have shortcuts if you do it that way. So we want to get into that habit. So it looked like you guys put in this conversion and then did the calculation. But instead, let's put in another conversion ratio. What would be the next logical conversion ratio to do? So I should say to myself now, theoretically, I'm now working with moles of hydrogen. I haven't done the calculation yet, but I'm theoretically now at moles of hydrogen. So what's the next conversion I need to do? Uh, the two to three, the two uh, moles of ammonium. Moles of hydrogen compared to moles of uh, ammonia, two. To three. That's right. Okay. Um, and uh, maybe we'll leave it at that for the time being. Now, um, let's think about the other conversion. So what should be the starting information for the other conversion? 56 grams. Yeah, 56 grams of N2. And then here we would have grams of N2 for moles of N2. And we have to notice that there's two nitrogens in each mole, so it's going to be 28, not 14 grams. Just like this is two and not one grams for the hydrogen. And what's this conversion going to be? Two. One mole of N2 and two moles of N3. Okay. All right, now it becomes a matter of taste, how you're going to do this. I uh, should work this out all the way. Um, we, uh, the final answer has to be in grams, but at this point we might want to actually work out the, the numbers here, because we can figure out the limiting reagent in moles as well, and that way we'll save a step. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this is a matter of taste, but let's do this calculation now. So try to do this calculation on paper. What, what, do you get? What, what number do we have here so far? Yeah, that's why I wasn't so happy with the numbers I picked. But we'll have to bite the bullet and have some fractions. And the key thing is that the number 2 will cancel here. And ten, uh, 3 goes into 10 uh, 3 and a third times. So this is uh, 10 thirds. Three, 3 and a third. OK, and what number do I have here? 2. If I do all the numerical calculations here, what oh, number? Excuse me. Yeah, this worked out better. 28 goes into 56 twice, and then this cancels. Four what's? What units are we in? Moles. Or, or yeah, four moles of NH3. And this is three and a third what's? Uh, three and a third moles of NH3. Good. Now what? Now, um... The limiting reagent is the um, hydrogen. Because we're, we, uh, we have enough hydrogen to make, we have enough nitrogen to make four moles of product, but we only have enough hydrogen to make three and a third moles of product. So this is going to have to be our limiting reagent. 